linking charts and tables from Excel to PowerPoint. This is where the automation part comes into place and this is what I want to show you in this lecture. So I'm going to split this into two separate parts because copying tables as links and copying charts as links are completely different things. One note before I actually dig into this lecture, when you do this you have to be very careful because if you work in an environment where several people are going to use these presentations, if you copy something as a link and it establishes a direct link between the PowerPoint and the Excel, then the person that wants to modify that chart or that table has to have access to the source file. Because those uh, tables or charts are linked to the source file, you won't be able or they won't be able to update it unless they have access to it. So a good idea would be to make it available on a um, sharing source such as SharePoint or to always, whenever you send the updated presentation, also send them the updated spreadsheet so that they can perform changes as they wish to. So let's start with tables. How do we actually link a table to PowerPoint? So if I copy this table and I go to PowerPoint, I'm not going to just right click here and paste it through the different options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the top left corner, click on this button, go to paste special and then go on paste link and insert it as a Microsoft Excel worksheet object. And what it does is it will look exactly the same as in the spreadsheet, only now it's a link. So notice how I changed the numbers on this spreadsheet. I, on this table, I actually added 200 to the cost, which changed, changed all the different numbers on there. If I go back to Excel, I take this 200 and I'm going to subtract it from every cell here. It's going to go back to normal. So this is the table that we started off with. Now, if I go back to PowerPoint, this is set on automatic updating. So you can see the table has automatically updated. It looks exactly the same in PowerPoint as it does in Excel. So that's basically the way you link these kind of tables from Excel to PowerPoint. Now, let me give you an example of a chart because it's a bit different. It's a different story. Let me copy this chart onto PowerPoint on a different slide. And the way you would copy charts as links is you would right click and you would have these two additional options here. You can copy it as a link using the destination theme or you can keep the source formatting and copy it as a link. So basically the only variable is what kind of formatting you want it to have. So I'm just going to keep the source formatting and paste it on there. I'm going to maximize it so that it looks nice. And notice that this is a bit like embedding it. You can still perform modifications. You can still filter these values in PowerPoint just as you would do it in Excel. It's the exact same process. You can change the design and you can change the format. However, here's where it actually becomes a bit different. So this will automatically change. It will automatically sync in terms of the data that the chart uses. So if these numbers change, they will change on this chart. However, Let's say I want to filter out North America and Europe from here and I apply these changes. Look at how this chart looks in Excel right now. If I go to PowerPoint, however, it still looks the same. So I just have to filter it again in the same way so that it looks exactly as in the Excel. So the lesson here is don't assume that if you filter something out or if you use the, let's say, stylistic changes in Excel, that this chart will update automatically in PowerPoint because it won't. Now let's see what happens if I actually change the data in this chart. So I'm going to take this last row here and I'm actually going to delete all of these columns. It might not like it, it might give me an error, but it's no problem. So as you can see, it doesn't like that, but I've gotten rid of all that data and this is what the chart looks like now. If I go to PowerPoint, it looks exactly the same. So as I said, any change in the actual data of the chart is going to synchronize automatically. Everything else won't. So this is the way that you're going to automate your PowerPoint presentations by just copying these tables, these charts, whatever you have in Excel that you want to be up to date in PowerPoint, just use these methods. However, what I'm going to mention is that this chart, although it looks okay and it's a great link between your PowerPoint and your Excel, 
The charts that you can automate using ThinkSell are much more intuitive, they're much easier to update, and they're just gonna look better than the ones that Excel provides. That being said, when it comes to tables, this is the method that we're gonna use when we update presentations even through the ThinkSell method. So in terms of tables or anything else, we're gonna keep the same methodology. That being said, Let's see where automation can go wrong and what can we do to prevent that.